Year after year, you're exactly in the same place. No matter how motivated you were at the beginning, at the end, you're still the same old version of you. Same lifestyle, same career, same problems and same results. It feels like something is preventing you to make progress. It feels like you're running in circles. It's time to break that vicious circle. It's time to realize your full potential. And it's time for your breakthrough. If you can't even look at the goals that you've set for yourself at the beginning of the last year because you know you're nowhere near achieving them, you'll get a lot of value from this video if you watch it till the end. I've been there, I've done that, I've started and ended a year in exactly the same place, emotionally, financially, career-wise and lifestyle-wise. It felt devastating. It felt like I lost the ability to change and no matter how hard I try, I just can't change my reality. But I didn't give up. I stayed committed to becoming a creative professional and designing the lifestyle that works for me. And I kept reminding myself constantly that all of my big ambitious dreams and goals are worth all the effort. So finally, after two long years of trying and failing and giving up and trying and failing and giving up again, I made a breakthrough. I moved to an island. I started making money as a creative professional for things that fulfill me, for things that I enjoy doing. And I made a huge progress in my lifestyle. In fact, I'm the closest I've ever been to living the lifestyle of my dreams. So in today's video, I'm sharing my guide for making a breakthrough. It has three steps. Get into the right mindset, visualize your dream life, and design your lifestyle. I hope it helps you to make the most out of 2024. Let's dive deep into that. Being the creator of your own reality is being the artist of your own life. You have tools, you have resources, you have time, and you have inspiration. As an artist expresses themselves in a painting, you are expressing yourself in your life. Artists get ideas of what they want to create. Inexperienced artists will find that they just can't get it right. It looked different in their head. So what do they do? Do they give up or do they try again and become more experienced? As a creator of your own reality, you have ideas about your life, how to make it better, what to strive for, what passions and careers to pursue. And turning your ideas into reality can be quite challenging and most definitely it's not gonna look exactly as you imagined. And it's a good thing because it will turn out even better for you. You're working together with the universe to create the masterpiece of your life. You're not a pawn in this game. There is no ultimate puppeteer defining your future. You are powerful because you are in unity with the universe. Think of it as co-creating your life with the most amazing artists of all times. And the hard truth is, if you don't create your reality, someone else will do it for you. It could be your parents that will decide which career you must pursue, where you need to live, who you need to marry, or it could be the media instilling fear into your life and helping you to make the right decisions. You've got to believe in yourself and use your power to follow your dreams. As I started thinking as a creator of my own reality, I stopped waiting for the universe to give me a sign that I'm on the right path. Instead of looking for the answers on the outside, I started looking deeper within. Because I've had all the answers, I just needed to listen. Now I know that I'm on the right path. I feel like I'm in the right place at the right time all the time because I aligned my actions with my intuition. mindset of a creator is powerful. It helps to overcome obstacles. One person might see an obstacle as a sign for them to stop pursuing their dream. It's too difficult, it's unbearable, the whole world is against them, they need to stop doing whatever they were doing even though they really wanted to. And a creator will see the same obstacle as a synchronicity and they will understand that they encounter this obstacle for them to become stronger and they will find creative ways to work around it or to remove it completely. Let's take me for example. I broke my camera. A YouTuber breaks their camera. Great. One person would have seen that as an obstacle and as a sign to stop pursuing this career overall and they would have gotten back to what they were doing before. For me, that would be working for someone else. I worked in a startup and I worked in a corporation before. 
I saw it as an opportunity to switch to shooting with an iPhone. Best decision ever. My videos became so much more easier and more effortless to create. I have so much more fun doing that now. And iPhones are getting better and better every year. So the whole world is switching to shooting with an iPhone. Here's the sum up of the first step. Get in the mindset of the creator of your own reality by aligning your actions with your intuitive calling. Don't let obstacles scare you. Overcoming them will make you stronger and more capable of living the life of your dreams. That passion project that you wanted to do, that skill that you wanted to develop, that move that you wanted to make. Start this year by taking action. Visualizing your dream life can give you a clear sense of direction. Scientists have proven that visualization improves attention, memory and concentration. There are two ways of visualizing your dream life that I can recommend. The first one is creating a mood board of how you want your dream life to feel like. And that's what I'm gonna do today and I'll talk about it in a moment. The second way is to write down in detail how a day, week, month and year in your dream life would feel like. The more specific you get about your feelings, the better. Have you heard of the frequency illusion? It's this phenomenon when you learn about something and then start seeing it all around you. Visualization works thanks to the frequency illusion. It works thanks to the special ability of our brain to look for patterns, for the repeating things. As you're creating a mood board and adding all the things that you desire in it, as you're writing down the description of your ideal day in life, as you're visualizing your dream reality, you're tuning your brain to search for the opportunities around you to bring all of those desired things into your life. So today I'm creating mood boards for my dream life, one for each area of my life that I want to improve this year. And they are sleep, movement, productivity, nutrition, morning routine, travel, finances, relationships, learning and growth, and YouTube. You probably already know all the areas in your life that you want to focus on throughout this year. If not, I recommend you to assess your life with the wheel of life. You can rate how you're feeling about each of these areas from 1 to 10 and the areas that have the lowest score can be your main focus for this year. I've decided to create multiple mood boards because A, it is fun, duh, and B, because I want to get as specific as I can for each area of my life. If this year you're visualizing a fulfilling career for yourself and you want to become a creative freelancer, I recommend you to start gaining all the necessary skills, creative, business and technical to succeed in this industry. It pains me to think how many talented, skilled and creative people have to give up on their dreams and go back to the corporate world to make a living because they couldn't make it work. If you don't have anyone in your close circle who already succeeded in the creative industry, somebody who you could reach out to and ask for advice, I recommend you to join Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community and they don't pay me to say this. I believe in the power of connecting with creative people. On Skillshare you can find online courses on many different topics including photography, freelance, marketing, entrepreneurship, productivity, animation and so much more. Click the link in the description to see what's available on Skillshare for you. I'm teaching product photography on Skillshare for anybody who also wants to become a brand creator, who wants to work as a social media manager or grow the their own brand online. If you dream to have a creative career and you're ready to start paving your own path in this world, Skillshare is the right place for you to start. The link is in the description. Whenever I need to come up with a new game plan for designing my lifestyle, I take myself on a passion planner date. I go to a cafe with my passion planner and I write down what I could do for the next few months to bring myself closer to living the dream life that I visualized for myself. This year, I'm focusing on improving one area of my life at a time. I call it the essentialist approach. Each month, except for January and December, I'm reading at least one self-help book, implementing one new habit and building on my routines to design a sustainable lifestyle and have enough time to experiment and adjust. In January, I'm taking care of the basics. Sleeping eight hours a day, drinking two liters of water, moving my body, going outside and eating a variety of foods. And in December, I'll be enjoying the fruits of my labor. It will probably be a stressful month, so I'm not gonna plan any challenges. 
Let me know in the comments if you want to join this lifestyle challenge with me and if you want to try the essentialist approach. I would also like to read why is it important for you to design your lifestyle. For me, it's important to design my lifestyle so I can continue making YouTube videos and working for my clients and creating online courses without burning out. If you're feeling particularly generous today, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos about lifestyle design. And if you want to spend a day with me on the island, keep watching this video. And I'll see you in my next one. Peace!